is an exciting video that I'm making right now. My name is Jeremy Ginsberg, by the way, and this completes my 90 day raw food mucusless diet challenge that I set for myself. And I just wanted to create another vlog update. Actually got a few comments on YouTube of asking how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. So this is an update video. And while there's so much that's been going on in my personal and spiritual journey and healing journey, I <clears throat> set a timer <laughs> to not overwhelm you with information and also to stay grounded and, and keep this video relatively short. Also got dinner plans. My fiance is preparing some raw salad with cashew dressing and avocado. So anyways, 90 days. Wow. Wow. As you can hopefully feel energetically, I feel so much better. Of course, it has been a miracle cure all. However, I I'm fully on board with the living foods movement and yeah, I guess I'll just dive right in and share what's been coming up and how I'm feeling. To start, I just want to kind of zoom out and look at where I was three months ago when I began this journey. I was extremely depressed most days. I was experiencing a ton of fatigue. I was suicidal a lot of mornings and chronic headaches, which has been ongoing for about four years. All of that came to a climax and I just needed to do something. It was either go to a psychiatrist and take medicine, pharmaceuticals, or something else so I, that's why I, I committed to 90 days i didn't want it to just be another two week even one or two months it's it's a lifestyle now but at the time i just for some reason i just said all right three months 90 days i'll do it now i am still experiencing some depression and fatigue but it's so much lighter it's 30 to 50% lighter and the highs are way higher and the lows are also way higher. So of course there's a part of me that wishes it could just be, you know, gone and oh, I feel lighter and that's all behind me now. But I feel like those expectations aren't realistic. To me, it comes from this more Western allopathic perspective of, oh, I'm in pain, so take this pill and it's gone. And, so it's really been teaching me a lot about patience. But I'll just say my symptoms are, yeah, 30 to 50% lighter, which is great. The downside is my symptoms were so rough to begin with. I still, I'm still in pain on a daily basis. I'm still getting headaches. I'm still sad and moving the anger and all the emotions that were suppressed underneath the fatigue and underneath the headaches. But the way I see it, and this may be a bit woo-woo or less science-based, but how I perceive it, it's, it's all energy, it's just vibration. So as I've raised my vibration by eating living foods, which are of a higher vibration, I find that it's less of a physical the, it, the density is less caught up in my physical. So the fatigue and the headaches are very physical. And the physical plane or energy is more dense than the emotional and the mental. So from a healing perspective, I am still feeling a lot of the intensity of dark, light, sad, joy, anger, grief, anxiety, impatience, all these things. However, it's, it's slowly coming out of my physical form and moving into emotional and mental. And to me, that is beautiful. It's a gift. It's a sign of 
growth, improvement, and I believe it has a lot to do with this new lifestyle. I don't even want to call it a diet. It's a lifestyle. One of my family members asked me, so when are you going to reintroduce new foods? He was, it was kind of like, so when are you going to go back to eating what, what we eat? And my response is that, I don't know. I'm just going to listen to my body. And to me, it's such a service to my body to even say that where most of my life I've just been eating what my parents put on the table, what my school put on the table, what was convenient, and then what I was conditioned to enjoy. And then what I was craving based on what I would eat to make me feel better when I wasn't able to fully honor my emotional state and do a practice to move the energy. Instead, I would just eat something. So now it's super exciting because I'm actually following what my body wants to eat. I'm listening to the body. So there have been times in the last 90 days where we ate cooked food. It was, I would say, 95 to 98% raw. I did have some cooked pumpkin. We had rice twice maybe. Um, what else? Cooked sweet potatoes. and. I ate those foods partially because I didn't want it to be an all or nothing ordeal. Like I said, this isn't a program. It's the rest of my life here. I'm listening to my body. And it's also, I had some cravings. It was, I didn't want to be super strict. But my body was craving something grounding, so I was able to listen to it. And to me, that's a total paradigm shift going from what does my mind crave? What is my subconscious patterns? conditioning want to eat versus really tuning into my body and saying, okay, dear stomach, what do you want to eat, <laughs> right? It's like, how many times are we following the impulses coming from our mind rather than channeling our belly, getting in touch with our beautiful body and saying, hey, what, what do you want? Thank you so much for, for letting me walk and run and have sex and make music and all these things, how can I best replenish you? And amazingly enough, I'm, I'm tuning in to the whispers of the body and learning to listen. And for now, I want to continue this lifestyle. If anything, it's, gonna, it's becoming more minimal. So jackfruit was something that we, we played around with. It's, you know, I Pretty sure it's a mucusless food, but it was causing gas and I just didn't feel good about it. Um, we were eating some oils. My body, I'm, I'm tuning in. My body's not really enjoying the oils. And so I'm just listening, listening to what the body wants and, and yeah, really following that as well. So overall, symptoms way down, intuition way up, and I'm much more in tune with that, which literally feels like a groundbreaking discovery in itself you know there's so many different philosophies listen to your body respect your body needs but since following this program and eating only raw clean foods mostly organic i can actually embody that and it's so beautiful and so powerful listening to my stomach of like, oh, after a meal, if I get a stomach ache or something's wrong, I tune in and I know exactly, I can, I can sense, I mean, I ask myself and I listen and it's just like, oh, you ate too much of this or don't combine this with this. And I know exactly what that is. So it's, it's a journey of understanding my body and it's going very well. <sighs> All right, almost at time. We've got about a minute left. <laughs> I've got so much to share. So much to share. What else? Oh, my sleep is thumbs up. I was having trouble falling asleep before. I was sleeping till like 12 or 1, sometimes 2 p.m. some days because the fatigue was so heavy. I've woken up at like 9 a.m. or earlier for the last month. So sleep is better. Energy is better. Symptoms are down. What else? Testosterone is up. I feel like my sex drive and my sexual energy is totally so much more under control. What I feel is happening is instead of me wanting to express that energy outwardly, it's just like turned inward and it's contributing to the healing. So that's been very powerful. Um, and just my sensitivities are just opened up to a whole new level, which is actually a challenge 
to some extent where I'm so open I have to be really careful going to the market for like an hour coming back just so draining because there's cigarettes and there's noise and toxic energy and people and suppressed energies and all these things so it's almost not even almost it feels as if I'm tapping into my intuitive gifts as an empath as a psychic as a mystic you know these unseen energies that I believe I could feel at a young age but over time I, I suppress so it's exciting it's very exciting <sighs> Is there anything else I want to share right now? Hmm. That feels like a good place to pause. My intention was to keep it under 10 minutes. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. But at this point, I'm continuing with the mucusless diet, the raw foods, mostly fruit. Pretty much I'll just eat fruit all day long and then usually we'll have a salad for dinner. The dressing has been usually avocado recently, which I believe has a little bit of mucus forming aspect to it, or actually it's just been mostly avocado because that's in season here. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for joining, and if you're interested in watching this, we are going to be doing more breath work online and leading and facilitating some breath workshops, so stay tuned, I did make another video on that. I also have a video on my session with Keith Wilson, the chocolate shaman, which is very interesting. Uh, not as much about raw food, but he has some beautiful perspectives for empaths and highly sensitive beings and people with chronic illnesses or symptoms that Western medicine and doctors and can't really figure out. He has some brilliant perspectives that have helped me. I've already listened to it three times. That's also on my channel. So please check out the content I've been posting. Otherwise, I'm gonna go get to my beloved and eat some delicious, amazing raw food. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And I look forward to connecting with you sometime soon. All right. Thank you so much. And stay rawsome. <laughs>